Goodbye, Frankie. Frank. Frank, come on, man. Huh? Oh, Bobby. Frank. Well, that would be what would be happening. Uh, there wouldn't be any um, any issue with that at all in any way, shape, or form. Like, mm. it would just be okay because there is no meeting, and there's no so there's nowhere to go to with the meetings because they're not even happening in the first place. Do you know it's kind of back to the back to the comment that someone said, "Oh, you were given meetings there a few years ago, and then you kind of fell off the scene for a few years, and you weren't given meetings, and now you're back giving meetings. And I'm like, oh, that just feels like blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I don't know, you know, I was never even given meetings in the first place, not to mind giving meetings, stop giving meetings, and I'm now back giving meetings. So, do you know what I mean? Um, but that's, yeah. obvious, that's just, the, that's the... That's the dance of apparently somebody seeing a story in place and describing that as absolutely real to that story, a storyless sort of scene. Yeah. Is, I mean, and that's it, like, it's the exact same though as well, in yeah. a way, to yeah. a, st a story and a storyless yeah. sounds. One filled with fucking, I just saw you're back in the game there now, kind of given these meetings. Yeah, yeah, just, like you're back in the world of happenings and it's a linear... But it's a linear uh, causal uh, thing that's happening in time and space and they weren't happening now they're happening and i wonder will they get bigger and will you do more of them and blah 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 and you're like yeah, yeah whatever and the very <laughs> and the very core of that though is that kenneth uh, has definitely got something and he's given meetings about something yeah that's exactly it yeah and as long as that is the case then as long as that is the way you see, I've kind of thought about this huge amount as well. Like, as long as there is, as long if there's something real here, then there's definitely something real there. When there's nothing real, when nothing's real, then nothing's real. And there isn't something in somebody that you know sees somebody else. I think that's the only way I can have come to say it. Maybe that's a good way. That's a good way of describing it. Yeah. Um. There's a, apparently, and then it's only apparently something here. Appar if there's yeah. apparently something here, then yeah. there's apparently something there that knows this subject and can talk about it and gives meetings and lives and lives in whatever kind of imagined state that is projected upon the speaker. And that is the case no matter what way, uh, even when people say, oh, sure, I know there's no one there. I know there's no one there. Look, you don't need to say that message to me at all. I get you. I totally 100% get you. As long as that's doesn't make a difference yeah 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 totally that's it that's exactly it like and there's nothing that can be done about that it's not right or wrong so all the time there's someone who feels that you are someone who knows something or have something to offer then that's just what's happening there's not it's just and it's all energetic anyway that that'll be like that till it's not and um, so with that is either when the apart me falls away or the the body the mind body physically dies boom so the whole thing is guaranteed in one way or another like um, and there's always liberation anyway so you know but actually just thinking back when I met I we we met what I would say ten years ago ten no, more. yeah maybe twelve 10 or years 12, ago yeah twelve years ago yeah. and 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 it was it was kind of around this communication and I remember it so clearly the energy of just meeting and it was just a, there's an energy to it and all of them apparent years um, well not uh, for, for say a period of them no matter how much I said I had nothing that you didn't have and there was nothing to get there was still a kind of an energy of feeling maybe like um, a frank or feeling like a, a, a uh, there was, an, there was a, a lived experience of being separate. Would I be right in saying that? 
Apparently. Obviously, I have to say apparently. Not that I have to say, but that's the first word that's going to yeah, came was, uh, yeah. the tip of my mouth. Apparently, yeah. apparently that was the case. But I mean, I suppose the communication or whatever you used to say, one way or another, I still probably, there was probably some imagination that if you're talking about something and there's a website, and you must, there must be something that I don't have. It must be, even if it's really subtle, that was the game that was playing out. Now, the ordinariness always came across and that was kind of the love in a way. It's two dudes here talking, but the, the, <laughs> the ordinariness came across very, very, very strongly that maybe beyond the words um, that it, uh, hanging around with you, that it was obvious that there was no fucking special anything happening there. If you know what I mean, more so than you would have said it over and over and over again for the mind he, saying that there's no one, you know, hearing if the brain going, but there's no one. He's got, he's got, the, he's a nobody who's got, who knows, he's a somebody who's a nobody who's got, you know, that was the way the brain, he, here's yeah. somebody that's definitely still, that is a Kenneth. Yeah. As much as that had been deconstructed and, you know, ripped apart, it's still the brain would have gone or I would have gone, whatever the fuck you want to say that that's somebody who's a nobody. And you know, I can't fucking say that full. Uh, no, I, know, I, I, know, I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, uh, so there's still even, making, and so making that something out of the nothing almost, making some, something out of the absence. So yeah. it's someone with, who no longer is a person, but it's yeah. still someone who is. Here's, so, here's just, somebody who's a nobody around. almost. Yeah, here's yeah, somebody who's a nobody. You're just flipping around the has, you're flipping it around to someone who has, and now it's someone who hasn't. Yeah, if you and know the, this, the, yeah. that nothing that they're having nothing, having no knowledge, yeah. or he's he has no knowledge. So there was still yeah, that yeah. having, and that yeah. was, and that was. But I mean, the message was always the same, always, always, always the same. And so even when we did talk and talk, and maybe we did podcasts and calls or whatever the fuck, um, maybe as, despite the hammering of that not hammering but just the, that message being that um yeah i don't know what i was saying there exactly but yeah the message never changed you never gave me nothing <laughs> yeah i mean from my from this perspective it was very interesting because i do remember the you know, there was just such a, it would all, the conversation, a friendship flourished, I suppose, quite mm. quickly, actually. And that's as friendships do. And it just, a lovely friendship just appeared from nothing. And then even within, there was that dynamic of you kind of feeling that I was somebody who had nothing now, <laughs> or somebody who wasn't somebody anymore. Yeah. And then in all these discussions, it would always kind of come back to, um, but you and you'd say something. <laughs> my, the memory here is it always come back to which well, that's what's happening so frank yeah. <laughs> and then it was like would well, you be like well fuck you so <laughs> and the, yeah well that was the that was that was the sense now and then and always that it wasn't it was ever was never changing that Whatever, because what I used to, what I used to say was something like, "Yeah, but you know that there's nothing to get, so you've you've you you've you know that, and I, I want to be able to know that there's nothing to get, or whatever that movement, that yeah, last, that to... last, that I won't say that last, but that whatever that sense was, that was what was happening. Yeah, somehow you, I was going on in that yeah. like that. I think it's I think it's amazing. I you know. Yeah, no, but you, you would always change your tact as well. You'd come at it from different angles. But I might say, you would, yeah, you'd come at it from different angles. But it was also very apparent that for a long, long time also, the character Frank knew that there was nothing to get. Yeah. In a very real, in a very real way that knew that there was, there was actually nothing to get. Like. And so it was interesting from that perspective too. And so for, it was just, it would resonate, it just resonated as it resonated. And um... uh, it's funny you say, like, I, I, I had noticed that I said recently something like, 
I think this is seen 20 years ago. I think I said something like that recently. Now yeah. I don't, I'm not too sure where I'm coming from with that. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I, I, I see where you I understand what you're saying with that. Like, yeah, and that, yeah. It, it was seen. Of course it was seen because it's constantly fucking seen. It's just yeah. it, that scene is continually overlaid by this artificial, confused, looped, se- contracted sense of being a person. Yeah, so, that, that feel, there was a sense, we'd say, of my head blown off like a, a virtual sort of sense that that, my, that yeah. was kind of headless and there was almost anxiety about that but yeah. then that became see blah 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 but it became this um in the end i thought everything was bullshit but then when i came across this non-jew would say sort of expression when i came obviously something about that but instantly, you know, resonated or sang or I don't know. But I still, in the end, it was some somebody must know. It has to. Or it can be known, and all that is amazing. In um, you know, it's amazing, really. Is <laughs> what I'm saying now. It's amazing the whole play of it. Because to say then. That you know, you, you know, oh, there was no seeking happening really. It was only there was, apparently. There was no. Um, there was no. What I find amusing about it is nothing happened. <laughs> so, there, yeah. like, if you were to look at this from a, a logical narrative of um, the way life is, it would be well. Frank was there, and he felt like a person. Oh, Frank's falling away now. So mm-hmm. there's no Frank anymore. So then there's this big story about. How you were a seeker, and then, and then you were see, you were this intense seeking, and then you used to interview people about it, and then, uh, then one day you just weren't there. <laughs> but the, the fact of the matter is, nothing fucking happened because yeah. you were never there to begin with. <laughs> so it's a non-event, like. Yeah, you can, you, you, yeah, even you can't say anything really, though, in the end, because everything it seems to be tinged with story. And yeah, yeah, it doesn't it, matter. One way, I know it doesn't matter, but what, and yeah. yeah, the whole thing, the whole investing, the whole whatever. I don't even know if I was, I don't know. It's, it is fascinating because it was, like you say, it was really apparent for a while. That whatever this thing that I was saying, that I was that I was saying, that I was looking for, was yeah. So I think you know at best maybe towards the end I was saying was I just want to stop talking and going on that I'm looking for something. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, well that's exactly actually. It's funny you say that because I I started to sense that the energy of going. That uh, the energy of being in the role of the questioner and the interviewer who had a question, I could see that starting to weaken. And I, I read, I think I said it to you at the time. I said, Frank, I think that's starting to kind of fall apart. Like the, the, it's kind of, and you, beca- you, you there was a, a discomfort arose of being in the position of interviewing and, ha- and asking questions because. There wasn't really naturally any real questions coming up anymore because it was started to be seen that there was no fucking answer anyway, and it didn't matter. And and I could see the whole thing playing out. It was it was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I remember I said it to you at the time. I was like, I don't think. And then I was funny. You interviewed somebody. I don't know. Was it Tony or, yeah, or maybe it was Richard or someone. And I could see. It was like it was almost at the very beginning going, I'm not sure if I have any questions. <laughs> and I was in that period I could see. And I was like, Well, there's not much left of Frank now, really here. The Frank's not gonna I could see the whole thing kind of unraveling a bit, you know. Yeah, even the really the, the kind of trying to okay. So I'd approach it with the idea of well, okay, let's see what happens. See, do I ask a question? I'm not going to bring questions. But then just this idea of, well, okay, there is a role, a parent role, and that needs to be played. And so it was played, let's just say, the role was still played to a certain extent. Of course, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. But, but it was, yeah, there, there was the gas, there was no gas in the tank at all for that sort no, of thing. No, no. Yeah, you ran out of diesel. <laughs> Yeah, I think the very, very, I think it's fascinating. Is it fascin- fascinating that 
you know, we talked about this in the phone, but this idea then, you know, you can't, you know, you hear these, when you're looking, you hear these romantic words that uh, I have nothing. And this comes back to what I was, what I would have seen. I would have seen somebody that has nothing because there's somebody here. So then it was impossible not to see this idea. But in the end then, so when, so when somebody says anything, you go, no, no, no. I don't have a bank of knowledge. I don't have a message. I don't have something to say. I actually have nothing. And then you, you somebody will hear that and go, mm. now you know. But it's impossible. This is the this is the game, though. It is kind of magical as well. The game, the dance of being apparently somebody saying, "Oh, you have something." It's kind of beautiful. Oh, that. the whole thing is beautiful. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. It is absolutely stunning. It's mind blowing that 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 whole energy of feeling that you are a person and you have a life and the the narrative and the intric intricacies of this story of me is just it's it's beautiful. But then it's beautiful. It's when it's also. Um, when the meaning falls out of it and it's just it's just like a flower you know a flower is nice and but it's just life flowering it doesn't mean anything or have any significance or... and that could be heard as apathetic or whatever but it, it or you know it's this pointlessness thing but actually there in um, there in is the beauty of sounds and words and conversation just being allowed to be that as opposed to having to go somewhere be something you know, that's the, yeah, and then you make it something. But then you see also as well, say, for example, that it can be in the game. The game's going to play out the way it's going to play out. Secrets exactly. going to happen. And it's impossible to be heard whatever fucking way, 50 yeah. billion, billion times. Possible, yeah. yeah. It's just, it is, it is exactly like you said, it is, it, it, it is exactly as it appears to be, is exactly as it is. And it cannot be any other way. So if it's someone saying, oh, yeah, I'm definitely a person. I am a me. I have a life. How dare you? Then that's, that's life uh, energy saying that. And that's completely whole and complete and perfect <laughs> mm. as, as it is. And it's just, yeah. So it's, 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 uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's just, it's, it's completely beyond words. You can't describe it at all, but and yet then what I always kind of usually follow that up with it's completely stunning, it's completely beyond yours, and it's it's so ordinary I can't begin to describe to you. Like to say it's ordinary doesn't come close to how immediate and just everyday and ordinary it is because you know the the them words completely fall short of how just banal and not even banal, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, well, every word then, you see, ordinary is, then you see in the same breath, I'd be saying, there's nothing to say, there's nothing, blah, blah, blah. And then I could say two seconds later, but it's fucking spectacular. And then yeah. you go, oh, sorry, now, what did you just say there? Tell me why it's spectacular. Ah, uh, well, I mean, just catch me in the morning if I'm hungover. I tell you, it's fucking disgusting. And I could, you know, but I'd also probably go, it's great though, isn't it? That you can feel like this? Or that this is apparently possible that it can happen? You know that this, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and then that's not good enough, really. I know it's, but yeah. it's words are just like it is. It is really that it's just there's just um, it's an it's an energy, it's an energetic resonance. I mean, when in relation to any description of it, everything, it's just energy. It's just an energetic thing, really. That's all, like for me. And the words just happen to come out, blah blah blah, as they do, and they they just are. They're not. They're not like completely in consequential in that words words have a, a certain energy to them too you know as in like a as in clarifying or demystifying or uh, confusing or adding to confusing or feeding the person or not feeding the person so there's there is that you know what i mean but but under underneath that and in that is just just this uh, just this resonance that that's really what it's all that's really what it's all kind of pointing to like but in the words then, like you say, though, it can be a thing. It can, you can sense that there's absolutely nothing on offer in the words. 
you can you can sense so maybe yeah. you, but it that really really like there's nothing on offer then yeah. that's kind of how how would that ever be wonderful but it is wonderful oh it's boundless it's boundless and people are being spoon fed uh prescriptive bullshit their whole life and when they can come across a clear communication they can sense very clear very 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 quickly that they're they're not being offered anything and they're not and also there's nothing required of from them and they're being seen as nothing but unconditional love and wholeness and that is a fucking powerful powerful energy that is a very very powerful thing and that can be sensed very quickly very quickly that there's nothing and then from what i would say is then the whole gamut of kind of emotions can play out as in i don't want to be here i don't want to hear this but i'm i just i'm also i'm blown away by this message as well you know what i mean i think that's mm. very kind of one of the more uh, common the wrong word but uh, um it's a, f a frequent response is, is a complete push and pull to it but like it, it, it there's very much sense and this is a very dangerous communication in the sense of it's talking about the end of me so me i don't want anything to do with it uh but i can't seem to get up off my chair because i'm actually blown away at the same time and it's resonating in a way that nothing else has resonated before you know it's mm. remarkable it's it's stunning it's absolutely stunning I think, yeah, the authority of this thing comes, can come across also very strongly when you're hearing that it's already over, that already what you're looking for is a thousand percent what's happening and that yeah. there is nothing that can be gained. That, that ordinarily wonderfulness of that can, because it's almost in a room, in a meeting in a room, there is an expectation that you can give me something. This yeah. fucking wonderful, you can give me something. And then, yeah, when that is kind of um, uh, ripped yeah. a little bit, that's also that freedom. Yeah. Yeah, you can't, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's just, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm totally, completely, from when the first time I ever went to see Tony years and years ago apparently years ago and I'm uh, as blown away by this commun this communication that is nobody's communication I'm as blown away right now as I first was of just uh, it doesn't ever start getting old or you know what I mean it's, it's because like if you think of a theory right or any kind of theory in life or some kind of a a conceptual kind of way of approaching life it can have an energy and it can fill up like uh you know it, it can imbue everything and then it can just slowly kind of peek there out or just fall apart altogether you know because of course because it's 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 very it's just limited it's 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 filling the person you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's it's going to be it's only ever going to last so long but this is totally different to that it's just you see, it's just definitely not talked about. And also even the mind can come in and go here and, you know, that this is a communication when it's not even a communication or a message or anything is being said, you know. Uh, yeah. um, and the brain will go, okay, well, even that is something. But really, it's more like, uh, it's only in uh, the jazz hands thing of, what, what the fuck do you, what, are yeah, you, are you talking about the fact this yeah, we are actually having a conversation about not the going somewhere, not the getting places. Yeah, yeah, not just, the just this. Oh no, you, you oh, say it again. What are you saying? Well, that thing for me, well, that absolute really, honest and empty. Sorry, yeah. I, I, mean, I haven't a clue. Shocking! It's shocking. It's, so, it's quite a shock. It, it's such a shock that what you've been looking for is already what is, and has never been anything else. And it's that. It's such a the laughter. That's where the laughter can just burst out of as well as like oh my god what you've been looking I've been, for is I've the look what you've been looking for is looking like what yeah, exactly yeah i've been going around looking for my glasses with my glasses using my glasses looking for my glasses like 
kind of analogy you know what i mean it's just <laughs> and that's the in a way that's the dance let's just say of these sorts of communications or conversations the almost idea that it can be talked about because the brain will almost love to go oh it's a thing we can talk about the thing but it's the talking it's the talking it's the sounds how the fuck how the fuck do you begin with that or end with that it's already the talking and then you're that's yeah, yeah. funny enough remember i i did that I, I did that conscious tv thing happened years ago apparently um <laughs> good so i'm glad you said apparently yeah, I know it's an important word, Frank. Uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, you know, whatever it was, what it was like, it, you know, I watched over the video a couple of weeks later and immediately, go, oh, that's not what I meant by that, or that's not what you did. And but then in that was the scene, which there can't be any different. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it, that's the way it has, even with all the, the miscommunication and, and whatever, and probably some confusion, probably at that point as well. Um, but in it was also, but sure, it's completely whole as well. We, even with all its, uh, uh, all that stuff. Um, and, but, but, and, but then the most amazing thing is that also the rah, rah, rah about what you said is it? Yeah. I, I know you, I know that's obvious, yeah. but that's, it's so magnificent that like. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's also. Then, um, so I got an email and someone emailed said, I was watching the video and it was, caught my interest and it was it was really interesting you know it was whatever and then when you when he said something like or when you he asked a question and you said it's not that there's something to get it's in the reaching for it and I, he said you reached your hand out like that and he said boom that was it he said i started crying i fucking fell apart and i and what the fuck just happened like you know, and uh, it was very powerful because it, it is that, I think it echoes a little bit that it's not so much what's said, it's, it's an energetic, and he said, whatever way you moved your hand and said, it's already in the region, it's not that there's anything to get. That was the, that was it, like, it was game over for me. Now, well, you know, then you can have the whole mean and bean and whatever, I, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter anyway, but. It's interesting when you get sometimes hear that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, I, I, that's lovely because it almost sends a shiver for whatever it, that sensation. And anyway, I don't know what that is exactly. It can be. There's a very can be a very physical response, you know. Also, like there was an I think it was over to Boris's talk in London, and um, Boris's conference, the Dream Bus conference, and. Um, blah 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 stood up you know blah 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 blah, blah. and uh, I met this uh, young enough chap uh, after you know he came up talking and he was sh literally shaking like a leaf he was physically shaking <laughs> mm -hmm. and he was like what the fuck is going on like is, is, is this a common reaction to like he said I didn't, dug, I didn't he couldn't understand it at all like but he lit it was literally it was totally a mind it was totally a, an embodied reaction and it nothing to do with me, nothing to do with Kenneth, obviously. I don't need to tell you that, but <laughs> um, <laughs> just an energetic, uh, an energetic it, it was a, a phys it can there can be just a physical boom. And for me then it's like that's why I'd, the often the description is of a, a cellular um contraction. In every single cell, apparent cell, it's this contraction of this embodied sense of being a me and for me that it was like that releases that can release it's like every cell of the body is fucking humming it's humming man it's like boom mm. you know and the mind is trying to play catch up like what the hell is going on you know? yeah the mind is always in catch up really mind yeah and the, the mean the meaning maker kicks in and what happened and is it something you said and we're blah 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 and you're like whatever yeah yeah i think that you're like and, yeah, was... you're kind of back to the fact that nothing happened really you, you're almost always back to the fact that this is nothing appeared to happen but it's trying to make this it's the it's the it's the wanting to make the grasping a real thing again wanting to know it and capture it and bring it home and fucking ride it and you know you know <laughs> that really that is smoke a, smoke a what 
and smoke a cigarette. Right. <laughs> and tell everybody about how great it was. And then yeah. it's gone because it can't be that the, it, the feeling of it is gone. It can't be the loss as well. Right. That's, yeah. the, that's the game then, the, the, the thing that seems to... It's not even happening though, so it's funny. <laughs> yeah, but the, I think the other thing about it is when there's a real glimpse of that kind of a real kind of falling away of the person it's just so um it doesn't compare to any experiences you would have had to that point like it doesn't like it doesn't matter what you've bungee jumped off or parachuted off or done or whatever you know it's undeniably far beyond anything like that so it's very understandable how someone sells the house and goes to the ashram in india like because it's just it's you can't even begin to describe it and so it's very it's very logical how the per, the the search can get so intense and um you know have to i has to either get back to that place or integrate that or be there or whatever words you want to put on it like it's just you know it's very uh it's funny like, well, funny. like i was kind of uh, um say the shock I, I, I think I was fucking coming to terms with this for <laughs> this is bullshit life, but from for Frank McCoy, the shock of yeah, all of this, the shock, shock, shock of yeah, yeah. suddenly the story being gone, the idea of earth and a place and time and all that, and yeah, and the just the fucking feeling of what the fuck, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I look back on that and I wonder about that, just what yeah. was going on. Walk, I remember walking around days upon day going, fucking, something. I just even people could, this. I wondered, could people see through my head? You know, that was what, could they see through here? Yeah. Does that make sense to you no, now? Complete sense, yeah, yeah. Can, no, can you see, can, so can you see me now? Can you? Because yeah. I can't see, I can't see. Well, yeah. I can't it's, see where I am. I, I, but, I, but then I remember just going, what the fuck? Do you know the intense... The, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't uh, you know, melting into the sun. <laughs> that was uh, formed, whatever the fuck you want to call that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. It's amazing because I got, well, when the pieces all come back together, the glue is different. And it's mm. not the same person that was there before um it's not as solid or real it can't be ever someone had a nice analogy about it it's like a dark room a few people have had that analogy it's like a, a, a completely pitch dark room and a door bursts open and it's flooded with light and then the door kind of closes again but then there's still light it never can be as dark as it was before it can't be so that that sense of a me then is it's not it'll never be the same like mm. and it's like as if the way the way you're describing that non-event or that thing of falling away it's like it's such a it's almost like there's ripples of it then for it's just like ripples and ripples and then it just it come it's so unique to every apparent person it'll just play out as it plays out you know it could have been it could have been that way till the physical physical Frank died, it could have been, easily could have been that way. Just a, a sense, well, I'm, I feel like Frank and that's it, like, you know. Uh, and obviously that can only be seen now that it, that it doesn't matter when the apparent Frank cannot be found anymore. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It can be quite clear that it doesn't actually matter whether that sense of being a person kind of continued to play out or didn't, because it was all only a story anyway. Yeah, I would say Frank King or something. Yeah, I can understand why words like that are used. Frank King continues in a way, you know, somehow talking about it. But that experience was definitely holistically unpleasant. And, and uh, the, the unpleasantness was for, I suppose, the rigidity of religion and Jesus and fucking A to B. And there, there is death and there is heaven and there is there's we're all going somewhere that being 
You see, he never would realise that it could be confrontational or, or scary. But fucking hell. For a person that where everything is real. I don't know, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, it is stunning, yeah. Hmm. Apparently. Apparently, yeah. Hmm. But it's stunning also, like, it's stunning that uh, when you're a person, everything is so real and you're a real person and there's a real world and you're having real conversations and you are really moving through life like you're whatever age, you're getting older. All of that is so real. And then when it all falls apart and it seemed that it was only a play of light or it never was, the natural way that things are, it's just so, so obvious that it's not really, do you know what I mean? It's just so obvious that all of that is all a story. So that it flips around like the, you know, this communication to a person would be madness or craziness. And then when the person is no longer apparently there, um, it's so obvious that it's completely fucking nuts. The idea that you are this separate person and have a life and, are in control of that life and uh, the whole thing just seems so ludicrous to me now like and i uh, noticed that lately now that i'm starting to say things like um oh sure i don't know what i'm going to do sure yeah. i don't know i don't know what i'm going to do now that can be um don't know how that's like i was there i don't know sure i might drink the bottle of wine i might just only have a, a tiny bit drop i don't know i, I don't know it's not yeah, is that not, not known is kind of unnerving for people they want to uh, they want to live in, they're living you're living in the known i suppose you know and predictability and so yeah on. well what do you mean by that sure, that's just your advocate you're you're, you're not being you're, you're kind of getting away from your responsibility respons- like, like, responsibility yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and that and that's not the case but it's also that's how it's definitely hurt yeah. and but also it is the case sorry <laughs> yeah, it is the case. You're absolutely right. It could be a good fucking. I don't. It doesn't seem like that is the character. It doesn't seem know, like that is what he could do. Of it too, like. But it is. It is. I just let. I hate to say it, loving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a possibility too. Now, it does yeah. not seem like that's the case at all. But who the fuck knows? You know. Yeah, but that's the free fall of. That's why when I first started the whole when not, when I won the communication when I'd been at. Um, the open secret and it was a lot of free fall life and, uh, and that's why i my the first website here was life and free fall because mm. that was the that was one of the things that was so remarkable moving from a sense of being a person who life was predictable and knowable into not being just there to being life and the utter free fall of everything it was just stunning like anything could happen mm. and some you know and apparently did and that was just unconditional love Whereas when you're a person, free fall is a very scary thing and it's a very dangerous thing and you have to know, you know, you have to live in the known. And Well, you need to get your shit together there and have a plan, yeah, yeah. you know. But that's, it just doesn't seem like that sort of planning. But also... And stuff doesn't happen without you. Um, stuff does just simply does not happen without you um, making an effort and making it happen, for Christ's sake. Yeah. <laughs> The That's, idea that stuff just uh, like uh, what you mean like you have to it's all it's the me show like me you yeah. anyway i think we just kind of talked about the non-event of frank falling away did we in a roundabout way <laughs> <laughs> yeah and nothing it's, Nothing, me, nothing happened. Me, you know. Yeah, me interview and Frank about the. Uh, it's going. Yeah. We're going to have to spell it better than this, Frank. Though. No, I mean that's the thing. Well, you, see, you, you know, it's better. it's funny. Like uh, years, ago, <laughs> years ago, Nuri used to say to me, "You need to add a little bit of fucking cream on the story. You don't need to tell it exactly. Just add on <laughs> a little fucking bit. Just embellish a little bit. Just embellish a little bit, even a tiny sniffle. It just doesn't seem that." Sure. It doesn't seem like who knows. I mean, I could start telling everybody to be here now. Who knows? Yeah, but it just doesn't seem like that will come out of my mouth either. It doesn't seem though like those anything at all, any anything profound or interesting will come out of my mouth. I know it is 
like it just is it's, it's just anything can happen it's amazing but like i mean any any communication that tells you how to get there you know it's so um energetically it's so fucking boring and uh just the just totally allergic oh my god you know but i mean it it definitely it just comes from a sense of there has to be it's all emanating from a sense of a person that's obviously still there and it's different uh, yeah you see that's the thing and i i'm finding what i'm finding a lot of people who are in touch with me now uh, apparently seem to be they're tuned in energetically to it do you know what i mean they're saying i'm listening to you and whoever else but I can't seem to understand why I don't like listening to this guy and this girl and this and da 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 da. They don't really even understand why, because you seem to be saying the same things. But I don't, and I, I say, well, we're not actually saying the same things at all. It's two completely different communications. And they, they still can't understand why, but energetically they're drawn to, say, a clear communication and uncompromising communication that offers nothing. And for some reason they can't stomach the other one at all. Um, but they don't understand why they don't need to understand why either but that's kind of how it was here as well i just i saw you know there was there was and after a while it became very clear that it wasn't even the syntax wasn't even the same the language it may seem the same a little bit but it, they're actually vastly different yeah communication you know? well you see it is impossible when in the sense of there's absolutely nothing nothing Right. So then to say, start talking about here as a real thing and now as a real thing or any kind of concept or knowledge, anything is real. Well, yeah. well, where are you coming from now? That could be felt from the tiniest thing to the largest thing, yeah. from celebrities to spiritual celebrities. And it's yeah. that sense of basically at the end of the day, it is. Look at me. Can, you, can, you, can you definitely see me? Because and and did you do you think I did a good job here? Do you yeah. think that and will these words help you? And then yeah. then you've got the teacher and the student and they're fucking they're dancing the greatest fucking pain of the whole dance and it's the it's the the feedback the feedback system yeah is feedback you loop yeah feeding each other that. forever and ever yeah. like, and the funny th you know when you when you start to describe it I'd I'd often have. Yeah, but you're saying this, 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 that's wrong. I said, no, I never said it was wrong, man. <laughs> no. Never said it was right. I never said it was wrong. I said, what? That's what appears to be happening. This is what we're at, like. If that's, that's the case, that, if, this, if, this is, if this is what we're at, this is what we're at. This is yeah, what the fuck that's, I'm, this that's, is, I remember I wrote that down recently. Everybody, somebody giving out about something. I remember just thinking, do you know what now? Just before I answer that, or fucking in my mind, even I think we should all just take a big bow. This is brilliant. The way you're really upset there, that's magnificent. And I fucking, I know you're really upset. And I'm fucking really upset. We're all really upset. And I'm really excited. And I'm loving it. I just think it's all brilliant. That's lovely. Genuinely, that's miraculous. Can we all just take a bow, a little wink for a moment? Just a second, even. Can we? Let's just do the wink thing. And then let's go back and fucking chew the shit or whatever's going to come out of her mouth blah 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah the royal were amazing I think <laughs> oh yeah it's stunning seriously though like i mean there is uh, the, the other side of it is right um on a serious note but on a, there's a lot of people all around the world who are just fucking fascinated by this man and it's it's really resonate with resonating with them it's blowing their whole fucking world apart whether they're in canada or america or australia or fucking south america or wherever and a lot of what the videos you've made they're really fucking resonated like and that's when you actually think about it, it's a fucking amazing, it's just amazing, because like, it's not, 
conforming to the norm. It's not. It's outside of uh, accepted. What's good? What's bad? It is fucking risky. It is different. It is. It's. It's fucking stunning. I think. I think it's amazing. And you know, yeah, I suppose I forget that you know. You, I saw somebody put a comment about uh, about just exactly that there at the last day, and you kind of you see because obviously you have a clue what you're doing. And, yeah, have, yeah. and and also there's nothing special about anything. Exactly. You know, all the stuff that we were talking about is just as non-dual as anything else, apparently. Of course, yeah. And I know, uh, but so that, so you do forget, and also you forget the ordinariness that we're just exactly. talking about, we're just Me, talking, about yeah. talking here. And but it is phenomenal too because it's not the ordinary. It's just yeah. not talked about somehow. Yeah doesn't seem to be something that's talked about yeah yeah but and then when it is talked about it is kind of exciting that it's this, amazing yeah. yeah it is exciting and if you remember how excited you were when you uh, saw a new tony video would come along or tony parsons would be coming to dublin or or whoever it was you know and it'd be like are going to amsterdam or the buzz it's fucking amazing man it's just like you can't even describe it like you know especially when you're kind of get the hook into it and it's you know that it's resonating and it's just something about it. You can't describe it. So I think it was just, in, it was, for me, it was interesting to talk to you about what kind of interview, you know, ask you about what, because um, you haven't really talk, said much about it really. Like, um, because, and I understand why you haven't said much about it because there's nothing to really say about it because nothing fucking happened. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the, um, that is the wonder at the end, really, that, uh, uh, you know, didn't get anything. So I have nothing to say. But then somehow stuff comes out. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yes, 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 there's nothing to say yet. There is some, you know, some sort of question or comment and then something that appears to come out here. And it's just amazing. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and then that's, that's, that's what I meant to say during it. Like, what I was trying to say was... Um, there was this kind of story as Frank, I'm a seeker. That's what it was. That's what I was trying to say. It, there was a narrative going on that, well, I'm a seeker and I, I'm still searching anyway. And the response here was always the same response. Okay, sure, that's what's happening. So, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> and then what I started to notice was the whole I'm a seeker thing just started to become very obvious that it was just a story that was being told by you that it was still being told even though it didn't feel real as real anymore. I didn't feel as solid anymore. Oh, and, oh, but almost but almost then the idea of, okay, am I supposed to do an interview now? What's yeah, I, I, yeah. But, then, but then also, I've got nothing to say and yeah. I can't do an interview. So, I, uh, you know, well, <laughs> you're kind of going then. So then loads of times I go, well, I just close the podcast thingy because really I have no idea what to do. I can't have no interest at all. There's yeah. no questions. It's not even, I just, there's no draw to that. And I can't say anything because I don't know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but there, you're totally right in the sense of that interviewer thing. And that was kind of the role that then was that obvious. Yeah, it was. It was so. It started to become obvious to me that this whole kind of well, I'm still a seeker, and I, I still, I still feel there's something to get. And even as you were saying it, there were, you were almost doubting yourself saying it, because it didn't feel authentic anymore, because the energy had started to go out of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, and it's funny that that is what I appeared to be saying. It's kind of. And and then all I can say is now I don't seem to be saying words like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's no difference because there is no difference because there was nothing happened anyway. So, um, but then you that that part isn't communicable to a person who feels like they're real. No, and you see that's what I forget maybe that there is people feeling like there are people. It's yeah, in a way, like in a way. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of strange, but I also do as well in the sense that it's like a reminder all the time. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you feel like a person, don't you? And you feel that this is actually happening, and you feel like you've control and all that. It's like a continual forgetting that 
that and then a continual remembering. Oh, obviously, yeah, sure. So, yeah, this is a this is a, the story we're in. <laughs> yeah. Like every day, every day almost. Like and then, but you very quickly remember. Like it's not as if you totally forget, but you, you yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. But it's that disbelief, like, uh, you know, it's, you can hear sometimes the rah, 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 and I, I kind of just want to go, okay, are you, do you, are you absolutely a thousand percent on that? Like, do you definitely want to continue or do you think that sounds like a bit of a story? Do you want to, do you want to keep, because I'm happy to go and do that, like, would you, but I just want to make absolutely certain that there's no part of you going, yeah, so, yeah, no, it's totally load of bullshit, or I just have to come down there. <laughs> and then the convers then you can have a conversation, maybe, I don't know. You know, it's not even a conversation either then, but yeah. But that's what I mean by this idea of that uh, it's more so, I never would have got that, it's more so you're the rich man, the person is the rich man because they have all the stories and beliefs and ideas. Yeah. They they are the ones that know what's happening. Yeah. They're yeah. the ones that know yeah. what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where I kind of go, so you know then, because actually I, I haven't a clue, fucking, I haven't a clue yeah. that how I'm saying I haven't a clue. It's and if, because they're the rich man, what they feel they're looking for has to be a more attainment of more wealth. So you must have something that I don't yet have. It mm -hmm. has to be that way for them. It has to be, it has to be. It can't be that, no, it's actually that I have something you don't have, but that something is artificial and not real, <laughs> which yeah. is the me. Yeah, but it's almost when you when you see it, then it's just so obvious, and it's almost logical in a way, or it's it's um, that what you're looking for is hiding by being already what is. It's just so obvious then, but you, then you can see how it's too obvious, and that's how it hides then. That it's it's already because it's already everything. There's just that compulsion that it's something else and a continual rejection of it. For something else yeah which is uh, stunning uh, that it's not seen it's almost stunning that it's not seen or it's stunning that it's continually overlooked and it's just continually rejected but that it is the not seeing that's yeah, the fucking then, stunning thing though you know true, yeah, yeah. it is yeah. it is the not seeing so that's also it like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's so it, but then yeah, yeah so, i'm curious that not, I, hmm? So then there's nothing in, in that sense, there's nothing right or wrong or nothing. Yeah, that's the point at which it's like, well, oh, well, I feel like a person. Well, OK, then that's what appears to be happening. Then. That's what appears to be happening. Yeah, that's, that's a, it, it, it appears like that is what is happening. And that's what you're saying. That that's what's happening. And, and I can't help you. Obviously, I can't help you because you're not fucking there for me to help. So and that's what appears to be happening. So then that's just going to play out as it's going to play out. So. But then yeah. that's the energy of not the person continually not being fed, which is yeah, what differentiates okay. it from another message, which is continually feeding the person. Yeah. Anyway, we're back yeah. into it. It's lovely though. Yeah, it is great. Hi, if you like the conversation that I just had and you'd like more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Goodbye, Frankie. Frank? Frank, come on, man. Huh? Oh, baby. Frank?